tonight at 10, all frontline NHS staff in England will have to be fully vaccinated against COVID. The deadline is expected to be the 1st of April next year, and ministers say the decision is to protect patients and the health service. We must avoid preventable harm and protect patients in the NHS, protect colleagues in the NHS, and of course, protect the NHS itself. More than 100,000 NHS workers in England have yet to be jabbed, and some are warning that this new approach is not the right one. It's unethical to force anyone to have a medical procedure. And if I've decided for various reasons to not have this medical procedure, it shouldn't be up to the government to force me to, or to say I'm going to lose my job. As yet, there are no similar plans in Wales, Scotland and Northern Ireland. Also tonight, Labour demands an inquiry into the extra earnings of Conservative MP Sir Geoffrey Cox, thought to be around £900,000. Trying to reach Europe, we report on thousands of migrants trapped in Belarus, hoping to get into Poland. Beyond this checkpoint lies a part of the European Union that the Polish authorities do not want us to see for ourselves. How the seabed's vital capacity for absorbing carbon is being harmed by the process of climate change. And the story of the man rescued from a cave system in the Brecon Beacons after more than two days underground. And coming up in the sport on the BBC News Channel, seven of the best for Chelsea as they thrash Swiss side Servette in the Women's Champions League. Good evening. All frontline NHS staff in England will have to be fully vaccinated against COVID to protect patients and the health service. The deadline is expected to be the 1st of April next year to give unvaccinated staff enough time to be treated unless they have an exemption. The Health Secretary, Sergeant Javid, told MPs at Westminster that more than 100,000 NHS workers in England had yet to be jabbed. Health unions say that staff should be encouraged, not forced, to have the vaccinations. As things stand, there are no similar plans for NHS staff in Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland. Our medical editor, Fergus Walsh, has the latest.